Hi everybody. I am here to announce that I am starting the 75 day hard challenge and I am freaked out, but let me tell you why this is relevant to you and why you should keep watching. I'm Jeanette Sizikowski. If this is the first video you're seeing, I'm a feng shui consultant. And what I do as a feng shui consultant is I help people maximize their external energy. So I make sure and help them arrange their space for optimal flow. I help them assess if they're using the money energy the best way they can, if they're able to access some energy that gives them more energy, right? Maybe where they're sleeping could be updated. I advise people on where to have their serious conversations with their significant others so that it doesn't turn into an argument. But there's so much that we can do when we look at a floor plan and we look at the energies coming into a home. And once that's all optimized and arranged, wonderful relationships come in, opportunities just start rolling in, life is more serendipitous when you feng shui. But because the energy that we have is kind of just the energy that we have, right? I live in an apartment and so every year, well annually actually the energy shifts a little bit, but the base layer of energy is always the same. And so we can maximize to a certain extent, but then we look at other things when I say we, I mean feng shui, classical feng shui consultants. We look at your bazi, which is your Chinese astrology. And then what I do that's a little bit different is I help people with their mindset. So if I help you feng shui your space and I'm like, all right, get ready. The money energy is going to start rolling in when you turn your desk and start working from here, right? Money energy is going to start rolling in. Well, now we need to look, what I do is I help people look at their mindset. What are your beliefs around money? How do you feel about money? If you are, if you think rich people are bad, if you feel guilty having a lot of money, money's not gonna come to you because there's that internal mental block. And so it's very important for me and my clients that I help them with their mindset after we've maximized their external environment, their external energy. Again, when the external and the internal energies are aligned, beautiful things happen. So I'm a little obsessed slash fascinated with mindset and mindset practices. And so that's why I'm doing the 75 day hard challenge. If you're not familiar with it, it's 75 days of sticking to any diet that you pick, drinking a gallon of water every day, <laughs> which I drink like 32 ounces and that's about it. It's two 45 minute workouts at any point in the day and one has to be, one of those workouts has to be outside and reading 10 pages a day, taking a video and no alcohol. So that's a lot for 75 days and if you mess up any one of those things, you have to start over your 75 days. So if you make it to day 74 and you didn't drink a full gallon of water, you're out. You gotta start back to day one. <laughs> so I am somebody who my feng shui has been on point now for seven years, however long I've been doing this. And I have been reading psychology books and studying psych and sociology and mindset and personal development for as long, even longer really. And so I'm very excited to do this, but I will be honest, I am not good at sticking to a routine. I'm not good at committing to things. I'm not good at sticking to routine. I love working one-on-one -on -one with clients because I am very good at being accountable to other people. So if I have a report due or we have some feng shui to do, I am there, I never miss a meeting. But when it comes to me, and working out regularly or drinking water regularly. I'm not very good at sticking to that. And so I'm excited to overcome that. Uh, my business is thriving and so there's a lot of balls in the air and I can no longer keep a mental calendar. I need to start planning ahead and like sticking to some routines and if I wanna fit in all my meditations, etc. I have to start getting a little more organized. So I'm excited for this 75 day hard challenge because I'm excited to see the mental battles that start to come up. I'm excited to see what my brain starts to tell me like, oh, you don't need, I'm assuming it's gonna say, 
oh, you're fine, you don't need to go work out, or half of the gallon jug is enough, you know, I know that um, my brain is gonna start, what it thinks it's doing is keeping me safe, because in the past I have said I hate working out, or you know, et cetera. I've said other things against what I'm getting ready to do. So I know my brain is gonna keep me in safe mode and I need to rewire that. So I'm excited to put myself through this challenge. I like to do all my research before I help my clients with their mindset. I wanna know, you know, what it feels like to be through the hard and get over it so I can help other people. So this is, it'll be 75 days is about 10 weeks. So for the next 10 to nine weeks, I'm gonna send a video every week, probably on Tuesday, about what's going on, what comes up, how I imagine there's gonna be some dark weeks where I am just like, it's really hard, but I need to push through, and I'm excited to share with you my revelations and the things that come up, and hopefully it will benefit all of you, and you can learn something from my struggle so maybe you don't have to put yourself through all of this or maybe i'll tell you it's amazing and that the only way to get through it is to do the challenge i'm not sure so i'm very excited and i hope that you guys stay along for the ride if you are excited to watch me go through some pain before i overcome it all subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get updates and you can stay up to date on how the 10 weeks goes